Hi everybody, welcome to the Weekly Dose at Home. My name is Scotty and I'm a part of the communications team here at the Calgary Zoo. And we are in Canadian wilds visiting our Rocky Mountain goat herd, which are one of many zoo residents who are hooved mammals. There are six species of hooved mammal called ungulates that live here in the Canadian wilds. And each species has a different style of hoof that helps them move most efficiently through their environment. For ungulates, the habitat makes the hoof. Like any hoof, a mountain goat's hoof is made up of the tip of their toes surrounded by a sheath of nail or keratin. And in the case of goats and most other ungulates, their body weight is entirely supported by the hoof while they're moving about their space. What makes Rocky Mountain goats so different from other hooved mammals is that they live higher up in the Rocky Mountains than any other kind of large mammal. This means that they need hooves that are specifically adapted for traversing rocky or sloped terrain. Compared to say a caribou hoof, a Rocky Mountain goat hoof is smaller and more pointed, allowing for them to walk on steep, thin ledges, as well as having sloped hooves that help them walk up steep angles. If you can imagine being a mountain goat high up on a cliff, you do not want to fall. And so they have very flexible hooves that are made up of four toes. Two main toes that support the majority of the weight and can split in order to ensure they don't slip. And if they do slip, they have two more toes in the back called dew claws that can catch them before they fall. On the other hoof, woodland caribou live in boreal and mountain forests, so they don't have to climb up steep cliffs like a mountain goat. They're more worried about sinking into mud and snow. So their hoof is kind of like a built-in snowshoe. It's wide, it's round, and it's still flexible, allowing for them to spread their weight across the ground so they don't sink in. Their dew claws are extra big and can carry extra weight to help magnify that snowshoe effect. These big ol' hooves also make really great snow shovelers, and that's actually where caribou get their name. Caribou is derived from a Mi'kmaq word meaning snow shoveler because caribou use their hooves to scrape at the ground, move snow and ice out of the way to get to the yummy plants and lichen beneath. When you visit the Rocky Mountain goats here in Canadian wilds, you'll notice their habitat is designed with their hoof anatomy in mind. The habitat is built on a slope and there's lots of rocks for them to climb and jump around on. But it isn't just the inclines that make this habitat so comfortable for them. It's also about the material that those goat hooves are walking on. You might remember from one of our Daily Dose episodes that substrate is the material that animals walk, run, sleep, and stand on. And it is extra important for ungulates because the nail of their hoof is constantly growing. That constant growth ensures that no matter how much the hoof is worn down, it's always gonna grow back, but it also means that for healthy hooves, an ungulate requires a balance of soft and hard substrate in their space. Too hard, and the hoof might wear down too quickly. Too soft, and the hoof might overgrow. The Rocky Mountain goat habitat has a combination of hard and soft surfaces that keeps their hooves healthy. You've got those hard gray rocks that wear their hooves down, and if they need to walk on something softer, we've got dirt and grass. Our animal care team also keeps tabs on the growth of animal hooves, and if they need a trim, they're able to do so. You can actually check out what that trimming process looks like in one of our Daily Dose episodes where our giraffe Nabo gets a hoof trim. Thank you for watching this edition of the Weekly Dose at Home All About Hooves. It would behoove you to also check out our weekly at-home activity, and thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.